shooter, 20-year-old Adam Lanza, and new details are emerging about him this morning. Authorities are now interviewing his family and his friends, trying to piece together what may have pushed him so far over the edge. ABC's Brian Ross joins us now with the latest on that part of the story. Brian, any answers seem unsatisfying, as Dan just put it. They certainly do, Elizabeth. He was armed to the teeth with high-powered weapons that authorities say were legally obtained by someone in his family. And in an hour, Adam Lanza went from obscurity to infamy. Authorities overnight were questioning family members of the 20-year-old killer. A man believed to be Adam's older brother, Ryan, left a New Jersey police station as authorities sought to figure out what turned the youngest member of the Lanza family into a madman. We'll go backwards as far as we have to go in this investigation, and, and, and hopefully we'll stumble on answers. Federal agents say they recovered two high-powered pistols from the scene and a semi-automatic rifle called a Bushmaster, similar to this one. Both Adam's mother and father were licensed to own such weapons, according to federal agents. These crimes involve planning and a, a thoughtfulness and strategizing in order to put the plan together. So what may appear to be snap behavior is, is, is not that at all. Even before the shooting, Adam Lanza, seen here in a photo taken seven years ago, was known in the neighborhood as a troubled child with an overbearing mother. My son played with him when they were young. And in her home, I know she was very particular. Um, I just think she maybe had too high of standards or something. Adam's first victim was his mother, Nancy, killed at the family home, according to police. Only then did he head across town to the elementary school, where authorities said his mother may have once served as a volunteer or teacher's aide. See, the children didn't harm him, but they were associated with his mother. And his mother, I believe, may be the real focus of all of this. The guns used in the attack, according to police, are extremely popular and common, Elizabeth, among people in this country who do own guns. All right. We'll hear more about that, I'm sure, Brian.